Hi everyone, um, I want to show you some pocket letters that I've made. Um, it's my first ever pocket letters. Um, I'm in a swap with Kazakins one on YouTube and I'm not showing this video until Kay's actually seen them because she wants a surprise. So these are the pocket letters that I've made you. Um, I hope you can see those okay. Move the camera slightly. There we are. Um, I had good fun making these, so anyway, I'm going to take them out one at a time and show you them. I'm going to try and put them on this to see if this will work. Right. This is the first one here. I hope you can see that, okay? Let me zoom in. There we are. Um, I use craft cards as the backing cards on all my um, like ATCs. Um, so on this one I put Dream and then I had a topper then with the little clocks on it and the string at the top here so that looked quite effective. And then what I did then was I put the little gems in the middle of the clocks. I don't think this is going to work, I mean, just hold it up, it's easier. So anyway, there's the first one, that's that one. Um, this is the second one. I didn't take them all out to start with because I wanted to show them all in the sleeve. So this is the second one here. What I did with this was I stamped in the corners here using a stays on ink pad, using a corner stamp. And then I had a flower, I stamped a flourish onto it with um the same colour ink as I used in the corners on the two layers of the flower and then I coloured it over the top then using a vintage photo distress ink pad and I put a little flower then in the centre there so it's that one the next one is this one um, I bought these images I can't think of the name of the place now, so I'll put it underneath the video. Um, so I cut them out and I put it on the top of the card there like that. It's on like a gloss card. And then I put a little border underneath here and craft cards and then I put the little gems on it and the little fleur de lis there. And I put a pearl trim running across that section there. So there's that one. Excuse my hands everyone. Um, I've been using Distress Ink and I can't get it all off. So I've had to leave it like this basically and it just come off eventually. So anyway, there's that one. The next one is this one here. Another image on gloss paper. You buy the images like this, so on one sheet of A4, and then you cut them out. So is that one. And then I put a little, like, um, top border here, top, top coloured border here. Uh, I think this is a Martha Stewart punch. I bought these borders on eBay some time ago because I haven't got this punch. Then I punched the little flowers out of craft cards and coloured them with a the vintage photo ink pad. And then I put the little gems in the centre there. So there's that one. The next one, which is in the middle pocket. Bear with me, I've got a mount. Um, you're supposed to put like a sentiment. So this one says, the world of reality has its limits, but the world of imagination is boundless. And I stamped that um, using a stays on ink pad as well. The next one then is uh, this one. It's got a butterfly topper on it here. I came up all in one piece and then I put a little gem on the butterfly there and this little fluid -de -lis sticker then in the corner. For this one then, um, this is a rub on here. 
and then these two here I cut them out and stuck them onto the card so that's that way so this is a vintage style um, set of cards then there's this one which I put K for K on um, this was white to start with a die cut that I bought in the past and I inked it up with the vintage photo ink pad this was a glitter K and I went over that with the vintage photo ink pad and then I punched out a little flower in the corner there and put the little gem in the corner so there's that one and then the last one then is another image on glass card I stuck a corner there, like a corner sticker. Here I put a clock sticker at the bottom and then a pearl trim here. So there's that card. So anyway, I hope you like them, Kay. I had good fun making them. These are a good fun swap, these pocket letters. So thank you everyone for watching. Please leave a comment.